Newsflash, the old game is over. A new game has begun, but most of the world hasn't yet realized it. What's that? Well, artificial intelligence is rapidly changing the way we create and consume content. It's changing how people work, how they play, and it's creating opportunities that we have barely begun to scratch the surface of. I'm Joel Kahn. And I'm Travis Wright. And just as we have brought you the future of blockchain and NFTs through our podcasts and content, we're now pleased to explore this new future brought to you by AI. Is artificial intelligence good or bad? Well, just like all technologies, it's all about how we use it. But we are most certainly bad. And we welcome you to this new show we hope you'll enjoy. This is episode number one of the Bad AI Show. Five, four, three. Two, one. Who's bad? And welcome to the very first episode of the Bad AI Show. AI isn't necessarily bad, but uh, we are. And you might recognize these voices from the Bad Crypto Podcast, the Nifty Show, the Web3 Show, or perhaps any of the other projects that this long and winding road of technology has brought myself, Joel Com, and uh, Lord Travis right on. Yes, it's been quite a journey. I remember my very first podcast was 2006. I created one called Cultivate Greatness. It was a personal development blog, and I interviewed a bunch of different authors. Then went on and did Technorati podcast for a while, then did Venture Beat podcast. And then since 2017, you and I have been doing the Bad Crypto podcast. Yeah, and it was that show that finally pushed us over the edge because we've been talking about bringing AI to our listeners and viewers more because you and I have been playing with these tools. It has finally entered into early adoption in a significant way. It's growing quickly and it is a game changer. Episode 669 of the Bad Crypto Podcast was titled, These AI Tools Will Blow Your Mind. And after we did that show, we were like, you know, there's so many tools, there's so many opportunities to show people what they can do with AI. What if we created a new show that focused on uh, individual tools for each episode where we can help people to see what's possible and how to get the best out of those tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can be kind of more of a deep dive because, you know, we started, as you mentioned, we started out doing bad crypto. We, t- we tested out the bad boys of tech for a while. Then we've done o- over 200 episodes of the Nifty Show. Uh, then my co-author of uh, my book, Digital Sense, Chris Snook and I, have begun the Web3 show over on FinTech TV. And we have like a little quick segments where we'll talk about a tool. But then I think over here on the Bad AI show, we can go in and do the deeper dives and talk about what these tools do, why they're fun, why they're interesting, why you should be paying attention. Because a lot of times you're going to look at these and go, well, what does this have to do with me? I don't don't need to do that. I'm not going to do any of this. Oh, but it's probably a good idea for you to pay attention and see how they work. So you're just aware of it. And then I think as we go along, Joel, we're going to start seeing a lot more merger between, you know, Web3, NFTs and AI and how this is all sort of connected. So it might might seem a little disjointed at first, but they're going to connect. So we're going to be distributing this as an audio and a video podcast. So if you want to listen, obviously subscribe wherever you are on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, all the places that will be distributed. If you want to see the visuals of what we're talking about, we're going to be placing these on the bad crypto channels that are on YouTube, Rumble, and Odyssey. And you can go and pick up on those there. But you know, when we look at the variety of of what is taking place in the AI space. There's a site that you found called there's an AI for that.com. And this is continually being updated with different AI tools. And, you know, this is not just about chat GPT with text. This is not just about mid journey with images. Um, these are just, these are new sites that are popping up all the time. Video generation, avatars, SEO content, fitness, music creation, email writing, meeting summaries, uh, email writing, uh, meeting planning, website building, message stickers. There's so many tra- travel guides. There's so many different AI sites and and we have just begun to scratch the surface on this. And so we want to bring you guys the uh, the best tools that you can find that you're going to be able to apply either to your business or to your personal life. 
And uh, we're fascinated by this stuff. And the deeper we go down this rabbit hole, the more fascinating it becomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. uh, A couple months ago, I set up AITelegraph.io just to go in to start playing with some of these technologies. You know, if you if you followed our path here with, with the bad crypto and the nifty show, you know, Joel and I, primarily Joel has minted a million and a half NFTs on wax. And we did the blockchain hero set. And I, I come from a graphic design background. So me playing with some of this stuff, it really blows my mind because I can generate stuff much quicker than I could possibly ever imagine doing it before. And all you have to do is learn the right text prompts and become this prompt engineer that can help you sort of evolve and utilize some of these things to augment what you're already trying to do. Now, the folks who figure out how to augment this AI technology into their workflow are going to be a lot better off in the long run because there's so many things. Like I, I compiled 50 plus top AI tools on AI Telegraph already, and I already have about another 15, 20 that are badass that I need to add that aren't even on there yet. So you guys want to bookmark this page, AITelegraph.io, because this is being updated regularly. There's a lot of great content here, and I'm sure uh, Trav will be linking to episodes from this show as well, as well as creating short Mm -hmm. content that you can see on our uh, our Instagram and YouTube stories channel. I've been messing around with AI, especially with ChatGPT, on one of the oldest sites on the internet. It's worldvillage.com. I launched this site in July of 1995. I think it's safe to say it was one of the first 10,000 websites in the whole world. And it's kind of been left by the wayside. Um, and And I haven't even redesigned it for AI yet, but I've been having chat GPT write me content that I'm posting on here. This one in particular, I thought was really funny because the ending to Seinfeld was not good. A lot of fans didn't like it. I said, write me a better funny finale to Seinfeld and you just got to go and read this for yourself. It's actually really good. If you go to worldvillage.com, you can go. uh, It's a funny ending that uh, is true to the spirit of Seinfeld. And so I've been dabbling with this as well. We're both uh, eyeballs deep down this rabbit hole. And, you know, last night you and I were talking after pickleball, Trav, uh, which we enjoy playing here in Puerto Rico. And the question was, where is the ball moving? We have all of these tools now that people are using. And as we were talking, it dawned on me <clears throat> that you're you're making these really cool shorts that you're putting Ooh, on YouTube, you. these uh, YouTube shorts. And mm-hmm. I asked you, what are some of those do? on the Web3 shows, YouTube for now, and then right. starting to do some stuff here for the new stuff that we're doing here. Yeah. So really quickly go through just a quick bullet point of when you create one of those shorts, how many, what tools are you using to do what to create mm-hmm. this final piece? Well, like, for example, I'll keep an eye on certain websites around AI and crypto news, right? So if I'm doing a show, it's the Web3 show, then that covers crypto, AI, NFTs, all that stuff. And so I go went to Crypto Panic, looked for an interesting article, copied that interesting article URL, took it into chat GPT and said, Give me a summary of this particular URL. Here it is. I want these to be in bite-sized chunks so I can put them into the script for a a quick YouTube video that's going to be less than a minute long. So then it will take that, and then i got to generate it a couple times to get the words that I want from that particular article. Then what I can do is I say, what's the overall gist of this particular article? And then I go, okay, it's whatever. So crypto is evolving. I go, okay. So then I went over into MidJourney, which is another tool. I'll type in something. Crypto is evolving. Give me the look of a of, of, of a crypto steampunk type of tool that's evolving over time, blah, blah, blah. Gives me a cool base image. Then I can take it over into another tool called Kyber, Kyber AI. And then what that does, it creates that image that's like behind me right here with the Sgt. Pepper's band throughout time that has morphed over time into different members and whatever it's, Looks like it's Menudo. They change and become different things. So that can take the one image, morph it into something, and then morph it back. Then that's like a 15-second video. So then I'll plug that in over into InVideo, which is another tool. I've created a platform or a template in there. It has the logo. All I got to do is plug in the portrait video and go in and, and change the text 
uh, locations and then play it. Make sure it all looks good. I got it all aligned perfectly so it will look good on YouTube Shorts and then export it. Then once it's exported, I'll send it over to Signal so then I can access it on my mobile phone. Once I get it off the, off onto my mobile phone, then I can upload it into YouTube Shorts go into a trending video of some sort, remix that video or remix a song to go on top of that, and then go into another tool, get some of the all the best uh, hashtags for that particular thing, and then use chat B GPT again to get myself another headline that's good, post that in, post that in, and then paste it, and then I'm done. And those who are watching can kind of see the results of, of one of these uh, videos that you're created without the, the music playing for a short. And that's exhausting. Now, as a creative person, this is a lot of fun for you to take all these pieces and put it together. It's fun for now until I get bored with it and I start learning the new stuff, right? Which like, oh, is, there's something else that's cool. Which is why I think <clears throat> that the next step in it is a, um, a, a conglomeration, a full, a full complete tool kit. That somebody says, I want to make a YouTube short of this length that has this, this, and this. And all of those steps that you talked about having to do, ba boom, it all gets done at once through one toolkit. That's what yeah. I think is going to happen. We shall see. Yeah. And it is interesting to pay attention to, to see what's going on with this. And it's just fun. It's like, you know, that's one thing that Joel and I have sort of hung our hat on this whole time. And we're both wearing hats today. So we're not hanging our hat anywhere. We're wearing them. But it's we tend to see what's interesting, what's new, what's coming, and we learn about it and then teach people about it. That way you guys can be informed about what's going on in a space that you might not have known anything about. That's why we call bad AI. It's not that we're bad. It's not that AI is bad. AI can be very bad. You got to be careful about it. That's why you got to learn about it. Because there can be some pitfalls in this shit that could be really terrifying if we get too far down uh, in a dystopian kind of technology powered by AI and stuff. Like, that could get really weird. And so we want to keep an eye on it. That's one of the reasons we got into crypto. We want to keep an eye on it because a CBDC could be very bad for humanity. AI could be very bad for humanity, but it can also do some really good stuff. So we're going to warn you about some things that could be bad. We're going to show you some things that are really cool. And we're going to teach you how to use these things to augment what you're already doing or figure out new things that you want to try by utilizing some of these tools that you're learning about. So did you just say we got to keep AI on it? We got to keep AI on it for oh, sure. I saw what you did right there. In our next episode, we are going to go uh, and do a show on the app that everybody is talking about chat gpt we're going to show you some of the cool prompts that you can use to uh, to bring about the results you want and uh, maybe mm -hmm. do some advanced stuff because i know that uh, people are learning a lot about what's possible yeah. following episodes we're going to feature mid journey and we're going to show by show um, pick apart these different apps and demonstrate which is why listening to it is great and we love having subscribers that want to hear us in their ears but you really want to be able to watch because a lot of what we're going to be showing you yeah. is visual yeah so you're going to want to go to the youtube bad crypto podcast youtube channel look under playlist every one of the ai shows we'll put under a playlist that way you can easily go in and find those and watch those shows make sure to like and, and subscribe those things on those channels uh, make sure to subscribe on the podcast feed if you're listening to us there and, you know, leave a review or leave a comment. We love that stuff because that's what the algorithm likes. And I think that's one of the things that we've always had a hard time of asking for to, to get people to do that because I don't know whatever reason. But if you do that, it helps it all and it gets more views and then it gives us more inspiration to make more content. And there you go. And uh, will there be NFTs? Yep, there probably will be. So there is an overlap and and there will be uh, talk of blockchain and crypto and NFTs on this show as it involves artificial intelligence. Uh, but this has its own um, show because AI really is a different thing. There will be overlaps in all of it. But if there's one overlap throughout all of our podcasts, it is that we love you guys we appreciate you being a part of our community and we would request that you stay bad no 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 stay i bad.